and so our search for 10 outstanding artworks begins. First up, the La Salle University, Manila. So, hi, right now I'm at the De La Salle University, Manila, and we're outside the Yucheng Hall. So, I'm gonna show it to you guys. So, there it is. Sorry for the camera quality since I'm just using my phone. So, as you can see, it screams of Roman and Greek influence all over. Actually, if you go around the campus, you'd see Greek and Roman influence in all, almost all of their architectures. So what I like most about this building is that it shows that art knows no boundaries since right now we're in the Philippines, a hundred miles away from Greece and Rome, and still we see these kinds of architecture, so it's amazing. Two hours later. Second stop, Results Park also known as Luneta. So, hi, right now, I'm at Prisons for Physical Center and I'm looking for the board which looks like an installation art. It tries to defeat uh, nature. I'm certain, however, since instead of planting real trees, we have to resort to this, but still, I must agree that it is beautiful. 12 seconds later. We're still here at the Salt Park Visitor Center and we're able to look at some amazing paintings. And that's why it's my personal favorite. So if you can look at it closely, you'll be able to see that there are actually a texture of the paintings since they do not just use paint. They actually use green materials like wood and this butterflies. They look like paper cutting. A few moments later. So why again right now I'm in China's garden, still at Luneta Park. So as you can see all the structures here are influenced by well obviously Chinese architecture. So I'll be showing you some pictures later. Twenty minutes later. So hi again. I'm at the Citizens Garden, Silatuna Park. And what you're seeing behind me is a structure, a building that I found while strolling around. So what fascinated me is that if you look closely at the uh, structure, you'll see that it kind of looks like the rock formations usually found in caves. So it's quite nice to look at. A few inches later. Hi again. Uh, I was able to, to see this. Actually, it's a police station, but it looks like a house that used to be built centuries ago. Kind of like a big bahay kuno, which is amazing. I was actually surprised when I learned that it was a police station since it doesn't look like that from afar. Three days later. And for the last stop, the University of the East, Kalaokan Campus. Of all the artworks of the CFAD students that are prominently displayed at the fifth floor of the TYK building, what really caught my attention are these scale models. Aside from the fact that these models are undeniably and ridiculously beautiful, what I really appreciate about it is that you can clearly see the efforts of the ones who made it. As you can see, this kind of work is very delicate since it has to be a replica of the original. I'm pretty sure that I would never be able to pull up something like that. Eventually, I also went across what I call the Hall of Stars which is the hallway in the 5th floor Kiwaki building which is decorated of paintings of famous actors and actresses. I've been showing you some of my favorite paintings among all of those that I've seen. I've also got a selfie with a painting of Wolverine, so it's pretty nice. One eternity later. 
what I did to train Max would be the illustrations in a book that I like quite a lot. So the book in question is in fact as a little thing, so did them. Yeah. I'll be showing you pictures of the illustrations inside the book. So as you can see, it's actually a children's book. What I really like about this illustration is that it aids the imagination. It also serves as a reminder for us to take care of our inner child. Aside from that, it keeps reading a lot interesting since you get to see these colorful pictures as you read. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I was also fortunate to feature the fruits of the efforts of our co-warriors who participated in the recently held interior design exhibition. So the exhibits that I've been showing are my favorites since these two have a style that is simple yet classy and elegant at the same time.